Here with none other than the ghost, Robert Guerrero. You know, every time I talk to you, you've got some new earth-shattering prediction for me. You told me you were going to beat Birdo. A lot of people didn't believe it. You told me you are going to get the fight with Floyd Mayweather. A lot of people didn't believe it. We're sitting here right now only a few weeks away from that very event taking place. Was the build-up to this fight what you expected? Oh, yeah. The build-up, uh, you know, I expected this, uh, you know. You know, the media bliss is just crazy. But, um, you know, it's, it's stuff you get ready for. You know, it's... Uh, you know, throughout my career, uh, you know, doing all the interviews, doing the radio shows, doing, uh, you know, news stations and all that stuff, you know, it, start, it preps you out for this. And, uh, you know, everything I had to go through out of the ring, uh, you know, with my wife, you know, it makes you a mentally stronger person. So, uh, you know, it's um, it's one of those things uh, where, you know, you're, you're prepped and ready to go. You know, you mentioned your wife, and in the build-up to this fight, we've seen a side of you that I don't think the fight fans are accustomed to seeing, a very personal, intimate side. Uh, talk to me about why, during this fight, with this bright spotlight and all the pressure, you decided to open up a little bit to the, to the fans and the public. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, you want people to see the real side of you. Um, you know, not just the boxing side, and... Uh, you know, you, you want to get out there and show them, uh, you know, you could do things the right way. You want to be inspirational to people. You want to go out there and be able to uh, to touch people's lives and, uh, you know, use every opportunity that, that you can. And, um, you know, this is, a, this is a huge opportunity to do that to, to millions of viewers around the world. So, um, you know, going out there to inspire people is, is, is one of my biggest goals. And, uh, you know, hopefully that I'm doing a good job at it. You know, Robert, other than maybe a Pacquiao fight, I haven't ever seen a, a, a fighter come into the uh, gym and engage in a blessing like that, a public prayer, something uh, so f forward or public about your faith. Again, that's something new as well. Uh, talk to me about why it's important for you to in involve everyone in that aspect of your life. Um, you know, I've been saying to people, uh, you know, everywhere, I've been saying to the media that, hey, you know what? God's blessed me to be in this position. And, um, you know, all the glory is going to God because uh, he really has blessed me, with, you know, throughout my life, you know, with my, wa my wife battling cancer and beating it. Um, you know, that's a huge blessing. Um, you know, the blessing of my family, blessing the position that I'm in, you know, being able to jump up to weight classes and shock people like, wow, how did he do it? You know, it's all through the glory of God. And, um, you know, like I said, I have the opportunity to inspire people around the world and people I'm under the microscope right now and it's time to, it's time to show them uh, why I'm so successful and uh, the reason is is because of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now when you make a pronouncement like that, along with that, you know, comes scrutiny and criticism. Uh, this is also the first time we've ever really seen you in any trouble. You, explain to those who don't have a full understanding of what happened with the gun charge, why it is that you feel the need to carry a gun, do you feel like that at all conflicts, conflicts with your faith or the kind of image you're putting forward now? No, not at all. You know, I, I, I'm an outdoors man. I like to hunt and fish. And, um, you know, as far as, uh, you know, I, I did all the proper things to, um, you know, that I was supposed to do. And, uh, you know, as, as right now, um, you know, I, I'm just focused on my fight and that's it. We've seen Floyd get under a lot of people's skin. The very first piece of press that came out was him in your face at some photo shoot. Uh, you know, we can't expect that to stop. That's how Floyd promotes fights. What is it that you think you can do to make sure that he doesn't take you out of your headspace any more than has already been done with, you know, the, the, the religion, the gun charge, the press, all of the fanfare, and now, you know, Floyd's obviously going to be trying to take you out of your head game. Um, you know, not being able, not, not letting them buckle me under the pressure. Um, you know, stuff like this, you know, media day, um, you know, being under the microscope, all access, uh, you know, following you around. A lot of fighters buckle under the pressure and, um, you know, I'm a different fighter. Uh, you know, I always put God first, you know, I pray about everything and, um, you know, that's what strengthens me to get through all this stuff. Uh, you know, God's, God's put me through the fire. He's, he's blessed me to be in this position and, uh, I know I'm here for a reason, so, uh, you know, whatever he says, how he acts, um, you know, you could get in my face, uh, you know, when I look at it, it's just laughable because I know I'm here for a bigger purpose. And lastly, on the mind state, we've heard you say, uh, you know, say goodbye to the bad guy. You seem to be setting up a dichotomy where you're kind of good versus evil, almost as though you're on a crusade. Do you feel that at all? Um, you know, I'm always on a crusade all the time, you know, to touch lives, uh, you know, to impact people, uh, you know. And spread the gospel so um 
you know when, when I when uh you know when I say that uh you know it's um you know it's time out with the old and with the new and uh, you know and it's it's time just turning to the technical aspect of this fight, you know, uh, no one's been successful against Floyd yet. You say they're going to pressure him. You're going to, you know, rough him up. Uh, again, he's correct that that's what everyone says. What's different about the way you're going to do it? Uh, you know, like Floyd says, you know, everybody has a game plan for him. Everybody comes to, everybody comes to win. But the one thing with Floyd is he's able to change direction, do different things, make his adjustments. Um, and, and a lot of it is, is it starts with... Um, you know, media and, you know, him getting under their skin, breaking them down. And, um, you know, I'm not that type of guy that you're going to break down by words and, and what you do and how you act. So, uh, you know, I, I come to fight and, uh, you know, it's about being smart in the ring and, and uh, getting your job done and not losing sight of what you got to do. A lot of these guys, their game plan goes out the door. And lastly, Robert, uh, some people accuse you of even being dirty in the Birdo fight, holding and hitting. When Floyd starts to move, and if he does frustrate you, are you willing to do whatever it takes to get the win? Or do you feel like, you know, you can win with inside the rules of boxing, even though a lot of people hedge, you know, hedge those kind of rules whenever it's, uh, the pressure's on? Um, you know, you look at the Birdo fight, uh, a lot of people, uh, they don't know what they're looking at. Because... Most of the time, Berto was holding me. And uh, the way he was holding me, I just allowed him to do it. So, um, you know, when they seen that, um, they thought I was holding him, but he was actually holding me, and I just let him hold me. Because uh, he's holding my right hand, and my left hand's free, and that's my power hand, so I'm going to use it. So, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, they got it twisted around a different way. Uh, you know, I come out and fight, uh, you know, the way I should, uh, you know, and that's why uh, the referee... Uh, you know, let us work. Good luck, Robert. Appreciate the time. Radio Raheem with the ghost, Robert Guerrero.